A, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News Pro Joe. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video for the Flyers Nitty Gritty YouTube and my Sports Fanatic News YouTube. Please like, comment, and subscribe in both places. We really do appreciate it. And this is going to be the three key takeaways as we recap last night's game. The biggest takeaway from both of the Rangers games, honestly, is we were able to take three out of four shorthanded from the New York Rangers. They, We, of course, lost in a shootout last week. The Flyers did, but they were able to battle it to a shootout without the captain. And then with the captain back, oh, captain, my captain, um, we were able to have a fantastic performance. Uh, Claude Giroux came out and played basically like Utley when he would return for the Phillies for my baseball fans. It didn't look like he missed a beat. Uh, like Utley would always hit home runs. G ended up getting the great key assist on Gus's first goal in the orange and black. He actually played probably his best overall game of the season yesterday and looked um, a lot more confident on the ice, I guess is the right word to use. The only unfortunate series of events, of course, that occurred in the loss, but it doesn't matter because the Rangers lost and the Flyers were able to win, was Chris Kreider continues to be a Flyers killer. Three times battling in front of the net, he was able to score for the hat trick. But that's all mute because the Flyers were able to win the game. We do have to figure out, don't get me wrong, a way to temper Chris Kreider and stop him going forward or at least temper him a little bit. But it didn't matter yesterday because G played such a great game. Ghost played his best game of the season. Knack played the most minutes over 18 he ever played in his career. I think his most before was somewhere in the 16 territory. So... Uh, he's a guy that is stepping up big time, showing he really is that Swiss Army Knight. And when he slides up, he uses his offensive skill, his great forechecking a little bit more. than when he's down, he just pounds people when he can and really takes advantage of that. And either way, um, he does a good job in both facets and now is a great guy to be a Swiss Army Knight between wherever he has to be in the lineup and is proving he can consistently play up the lineup if you want him to do such. Um, of course, we also had Ghost. Ghost was able to chip in as a rebound came out. He crashed it and was able to score his first of the season, which is huge because it seems like Ghost is getting his legs back under him. It hasn't fully translated the points, but if you look in the initial Rangers game, I would say Ghost played one of the best games of our defense. And then again, here in this Rangers game, played one of the better games as well overall, not just on offense, but overall um, on our defense. I thought that Shane Goss' bear uh, played very well again and was able to have one goal, two assists for, for um, or excuse me, yeah, one goal, two assists uh, for a three-point night. So it was very good to see that from Shane Goss' bear. He's a player that you definitely want to see. Um, continue to get better, and um, he's a player you want to continue to see get his legs, obviously, back under them. And also, I think Game Center's wrong when I look at this, because I don't remember him having two assists. Because hey, it says he has one point on the night, but has two assists. So that has to be, that has to be a uh, misprint, because... The assists for yesterday were on Ghost's goal. It was Gus actually got an assist with G for one of his three assists. Uh, Ghost got an assist on the first Gustafson goal, which would give him one assist. But I'm trying to remember where the second assist would have been for Goss's bear because we're... Van Riemsdyk's beautiful tipping goal was Farabee and Cooch, or Farabee spotted Van Riemsdyk across the ice for a tip and Then it was Myers and G for Hayes' game-winning goal. So I'm trying to figure out where Ghost got a second assist. He at least had two points on the night, but I just don't remember him getting that second assist or see it when you look at the uh, goals. Um, so, yeah, I think that was a misprint. I think he only had one assist, but that still gives him a two-point night and a hell of a night, which is also a great country song. But I think the biggest takeaway, other than the fact that the Flyers were able to take three points from the Rangers, the captain was able to have a three-assist game and put on a show. Um, the thing <clears throat> that I took away was Gustafsson needs to continue to play like he did yesterday. If he can continue to play like he did yesterday, you're going to get a guy 
like Jim Jackson mentioned in our Steel Flyers podcast, please check that out on Steel Flyers 52, um, his um, YouTube page. Check that out over there, where he's supposed to have more. Eddie Olchek, who calls games and is a color commentator with Chicago, as well as obviously does national game at times. Uh, he's a guy that really likes Gus and says there's more there. So it seems like maybe if he can play somewhat like he did yesterday, obviously if Ghost can play like he did yesterday, you're going to be able to have a lot more offense created through the defense, which is something AB talked about in the postgame press conference as well. So that would be huge to see. Another big key before we wrap up here is, of course, Moose! Brian Elliott continues to be a great goaltender and a great backup goaltender for this team. Whenever Carter Hart is struggling with some stuff, all you have to do is call on Moose, and he steps up. And he had a great game yesterday. Um, he made some big saves when the defense did collapse a little bit and had some um, good opportunities for the Rangers in front of the net. And then on all the Kreider goals, Kreider was just battling in front of the net. Elliott made a nice kick save and went to him. The others went to the side, and he was able to tap him in. There ain't much you can do about that, but Moose has continued to perform and has continued to step up and played a very good and very key game in net, making some very clutch saves when it came to guys getting too open in front of the net and guys getting too quick to the front of the net and the defense not stopping them in that. We got to hone that in a bit more, but I think yesterday the Flyers played by far their best game of the season in terms of overall. They led more in hits. Knack led in hits with six. They were more physical, but smart physical because the penalties they took um, were penalties that were really the result of trying to actually stick check somebody. Like when Fairby hooked him, he looked like he was trying to lift the stick. So they were those high effort penalties to try to actually be able to receive the puck from the attacker and then get it back, just like G did on a play in front when he got a steal, too, which was a brilliant play. But the Flyers just need to keep playing with that tenacity, with that pace, and with that both ends play where the defense created some of the offense and pushed the offense. That's how you're going to win and get to the next level. And it was great for them to see the ability to do it, really, and see that they can do it when we don't even have the full strength team yet. We have Claude Giroux back, but we don't have the full strength team. So... It was great to be able to see them do that when we're still looking for the full-strength team back. But I think this is just going to get bigger, better, and stronger when everyone else does come back. And that is going to be a brilliant thing to see. Because with G back, look how much more fluent this team was already. What do you think they're going to be when they get everyone else back with TK, the Voraceks of the world? They're going to be 50 times, not 50 times, but much better. So watch out. And watch out, everybody, and keep looking forward to our Anytime Anywhere Flyers. Let's bring that Anytime Anywhere against Buffalo this weekend as we take them on in back-to-back games. And let's sweep them this weekend, honestly. After a disappointing loss last time, let's take this momentum from the Rangers game to sweep Buffalo. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, a.k.a. Projo. This is also for Flyers Nitty Gritty. I hope everyone has a great, safe, and pleasant day and enjoys all the great hockey action for the rest of the week. Peace out, everybody.